Hello folks, the old deplorable basket case here. So a person responded to an earlier video, uh, Sanders and Socialism, which was a response video to someone else, and trying to respond to this person wound up being, um, well, quite interesting. So here I'm making a video for that. Uh, this person, quote, commented, We as humans created a economic system that is called capitalism. Yes, we, plural, humans, plural. No person ever stepped out of their ivory tower, held up a tablet, and said, Lo, I have created this new thing, and it is called capitalism, and it has these rules that everyone must follow. It's not not at all like communism. Capitalism it was created by multiple millions of human beings throughout all of history just doing what works. It is based on rules. Yes, it, it is based on rules. There are observable rules of capitalism. Rules like supply and demand. And because human beings are involved, there are rules that are dictated by human behavior. These are observable rules. These are rules that just come about. Just, that it works. No one ever made these rules. No one e the rules of capitalism are not enforced by any person or group of people or organization or state. They are. People would think capitalism isn't based on rules, but it is. I've never known anyone who described themselves as a capitalist who ever said that capitalism does not have rules. Okay, um, I'm sure there are people who think that capitalism has no rules, just because human beings come in such a wide variety. It can't exist without rules in reality because it has connections with humans, and humans are very arbitrary. Um, I wouldn't say arbitrary... In, in this connection, in connection to rules about capitalism, but okay. You can't just do anything. We as people are on this planet and we have to obey the laws of physics. Okay, and therefore there are things that restrict capitalism. Okay, it's a little confusing. I think you're just saying we have to obey the laws of physics as an example of rules that we have to follow and saying that there are also rules in capitalism that we need to follow because we don't have a choice because it's just the way they work. I think that's what you're saying. If I'm wrong, please comment below and tell me. I'm finding this a little difficult to understand. And based on those rules and of the rules I've made by the state, some people got very wealthy. Yes. Yes, that is absolutely true. People who follow the rules of capitalism can get very wealthy. And so people who follow the rules of their states can get very wealthy. Um... Often in a, in a good way. They just make money by doing business with other people. And sometimes in a very bad way by abusing the rules of their state. Now, when I listen to some people, for example, anarcho-capitalists, BTW, I'm not saying that you are close to an anarcho-capitalist, I get the feeling they haven't understood that even the purest form of capitalism has rules and therefore is abusable. Okay, thing one. Again, I've never met anyone who described themselves as a capitalist who ever said that capitalism does not have rules. Um, I'm not quite sure what an anarcho-capitalist is. I might be one, um, but okay. Uh, thing two, capitalism itself is not abusable. The rules of capitalism are not abusable because they are not made by any human being. They, they just are. They are dictated by the actual circumstances that things are in. If you, you can work by those rules. You can abide by those rules. Now, rules enforced by a state, those can be abused. Those can be abusable. Um, I'm not sure which of those you mean here. Again, please tell me below, or make a video even. Um, so is it wrong to make other rules to try to make a fair playing field so actually everyone can do their best? Well, if, we're, if we are talking about rules by a state that are abusable, I would think it might be much better to remove those rules or change them so they are not abusable. Um, you're talking about rules of capitalism, trying to change those rules so they cannot be abusable. You can't. You compared rules of capitalism to laws of physics. You cannot legislate a change in the laws of physics. You cannot legislate a change in the laws of capitalism. Because capitalism is just people doing what works. Um, also, we used to say, make a fair playing field. What do you mean by that? Are you talking about equality of opportunity, making making sure that everyone ha everyone has a fair chance of 
using their own skills, their own determination to to do well in in the marketplace? Or do you mean you want to create equality of outcome where everyone gets exactly the same? Because the first one is, yes, absolutely, a perfectly fine thing, a wonderful thing. I don't know of any capitalist anywhere who is against that. If you mean equality of outcome, that's a socialist communist thing and it doesn't work because people are different. Everyone is different. P people are hard workers. People are, b are bad workers. People have skill. People are unskilled. You cannot have equality of outcome. There never is such a thing across an entire society. Um, and I know what you were going to say. Well, you should be grateful for these persons to have made such great companies where they hire y you and you have a job. F thing one, I've never said something like that. I was not going to say something like that. And thing two, what's the connection? They, they, there's no connection between that and the earlier sentence. And I get what you're trying to say. You obviously don't. But I disagree that we should be 100% grateful to them. A great businessman is nothing without his workers. Well, if you're talking about a factory owner, then yeah, sure, okay. But if we're talking about um, a, a stockbroker, a stockbroker can just be a good businessman, be a stockbroker, and not not need any workers, and still be a great businessman and make lots of money. So what kind of businessman are we talking about here? So what I am saying is that capitalism is flawed in our system, just like communism is. Okay. Um, if you just said capitalism is flawed, I wouldn't argue with that. Th there can be flaws in capitalism, depending on what's going on, where you're at, what your national rules are like. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by our system. Uh, but you say, just like communism is? No. No. No! Communism is a tyrannical system. It's a dictatorship. It is by its very nature a dictatorship, and it doesn't work. Okay, the Soviet Union... They tried to get rid of capitalism. They failed. Tens of millions of people starved to death. They brought back capitalism because they needed capitalism for the country to work. They let the country got back on its feet. They got rid of capitalism again. The country went down the tubes again. Same thing happened in China. Same thing happened in Cuba. Same thing happened in East Germany. It does. There's no comparison. There's no possible comparison. What we should actually be asking ourselves is, what is the system to make human development the fastest? Yes, absolutely. That is a very good question to ask. That is a question people should bear in mind when moving forward throughout life. And the answer is not capitalism, nor is it communism. It is something in between. You have to find the right balance. If you said socialism, if you said anything but communism, I would have agreed with you. But no, there is nothing good in communism. You do not, not, There is no benefit having anything that is midway between anything and communism. No benefit. The richest people of the world have gotten so much power that they control almost everything, and they don't have the interest that humanity will develop as fast as possible. They have the interest that they will make as much money as possible so they can satisfy, satisfy their greed, and even if that means cutting a loan that is already under the, under the living wage. Um, that is a very broad, sweeping, universal statement about an awful lot of people who I've never met. I'm pretty sure you've never met. Even if you met some of them, there's a lot you never met. So, you shouldn't do that. That's not, that's not a fair judgment to make. That's not a fair argument to make in any debate as well quite possibly being not true in many cases and if a lot of people can't live off of work they do when the money is actually there and it wouldn't actually hurt the company to pay them more it actually hurts the economy because of reduced flow of capital then that means for me it is a very bad situation yes this hypothetical situation you talk about is a bad situation what is this leading up to this is leading up to, and if the people of a country decide to take, take back their power over the things that their ancestors built, then I can't disagree with that because they decide the rules on which the system is based on. So we go from a 
hypothet a very specific hypothetical situation to a very broad statement about people, s what, rising up and taking over a country? Are, talking are you using this one hypothetical situation to justify a communist takeover? What, what are you talking about here? Okay, also, the rules on which, this, on which the system is based on. What rules of which system are we talking about now? Are you still talking about the rules of capitalism? In which case, no, you can't change those! If the people abor uh, before could abuse the rules, then we should be able to change the rules in such a way that they are fair to every everyone, at least now. Yeah, if rules are being abused, then probably they should be changed. So what? What are you leading up to here? Are you... You seem to be trying to make an argument against capitalism in favor of communism. But there's one hypothetical situation. There's a bunch of non sequiturs. There's several broad statements about human individual human beings who you've never met. What? How can I respond to this? By, by reading it aloud and... and Stuttering at the camera, apparently. Please. S sir, ma'am, whoever. Take... Take a day, a couple days. Think about it. Think really hard about the argument you're trying to make. And... And edit it. You know, compile it. Spend some time working out exactly the argument you're trying to make and try to make it in a very clear way so there's no 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 way of misunderstanding it because if you want to argue the benefits of capitalism versus communism socialism I, i'm quite happy to make that argument but i i cannot make an argument against this because i can't understand it because it's okay you you construct a one hypothetical situation which is a really bad situation, and then you proceed to a, a huge sweeping statement about people taking power over the things their ancestors built. That is not an honest argument. That is no way to have an actual debate. So, thank you for commenting, and I would really love to have this argument with you. If, if I can have this argument with you. And thank you everyone who's w for watching this. And, um, have a good day and God bless.